Hey internet, my name's Mark. I'm a senior at NYU, double majoring in computer science and language and mind with a minor in game design. Last semester at the start in August, I rearranged my entire room and yesterday I was gonna clean for like 30 minutes and then four hours later I ended up moving a bunch of things around again. And I figured why not make a video showing everyone what my online university room looks like, right? I don't believe I have anything special about my room or my setup or anything, just wanted to show it. I personally have been doing pretty well in the online learning environment, so if you can glean something from this, that's kind of the point. Anyway, for starters, I am not in New York City at the moment, living at home, and it's just my room. If I could, I would have a separate office space, that would be like the dream situation, I guess. I'm a big believer in separating work and play, but it's my room, so let's take a look at what my room has to offer. <laughs> so after walking in the door, we'll just kind of go around the room, but we got a wardrobe with all my clothes and stuff. My sister got me this cool thing for Christmas, mini play button. <laughs> right by the door, I just have a pair of keys. I have my wallet and mask and an athletic running mask. On the top of it, I got books that I mean to read next. Some language dictionary from a project I did a while ago and a few collectible things. I tend to consider myself a minimalist person. Sometimes the aesthetic is still nice. <laughs> Garchop and Cynthia Nendo Roids I got a while ago. The two Skylanders that I kept after I gave away like most of them. Little Mercy figure. The one Beyblade I kept after I gave away all my other Beyblades. We got a human job. <laughs> definitely, definitely 100% real. You kind of switch case, I meant to find a home for that yesterday, but I forgot and watch that I'm doing a review on later this week. And the legend himself, Quacker Oats, the duck that I yell at when I can't figure out a problem. Next to the wardrobe, we then have this uh, multimedia shelf. It's not a bookshelf. I don't know why they called it that on Wayfair, but top to bottom, we have a box of miscellaneous office tools. So there's a screwdriver in there. There's a power cable. I don't think it works anymore. There's blue tape. A bunch of notes, I got some from friends ages ago, my glasses prescription, some fun memorabilia stuff. It's sort of like a miscellaneous thing. Then we got my favorite thing in the world, double A batteries, some paper that I rip apart to use for bookmarks, a wrist brace, two short stories I enjoy reading, it's not how good you are, it's how good you want me by Paul Arden. I revisit this book quite a bit. Pseudo medication, I don't really know why I do this, but every morning I have an L-theanine, a vitamin, what is this? A vitamin D13 and a fish oil. I don't know if it does anything, I just have it. And then I have some melatonin, portable charger, and then books. So these are the books that are upcoming, I guess, in my reading list. Next up is this one here, then Seneca's Letters from a Stoic. I've read many excerpts from this, but I haven't gotten to it. Epictetus was the last philosopher I read. Anyway, m more books. The Messenger, my favorite book, I reread it several times. I think I'd be on my fifth read once I get to it. Then on the bottom we have some more permanent books. So Rotosata, which is about Japan. Empty sketchbook, empty sketchbook, Russian for dummies, Muay Thai footwork for when I study Muay Thai. My own Grey's Anatomy coloring book, like actual Grey's Anatomy, not the TV show. Figure drawing thing and a few books that I need to finish as well. And then my journal. Uh, and then this is where I put all my paper notes when I write them for class. And then coming back to my wardrobe, this is the miscellaneous drawer. Uh, then this drawer is my shirts and shorts and pants. Usually I should have two pairs of shorts back here, but I need to get another pair. My last pair was too big and this is the only one that fits now. It's like four fun shirts, I guess. Kirby, nice shirt, and then Amazon nerd shirt. And then my forest green shirts because every day I wear the same color. Then the workout drawer, which is empty right now because I've been running so much this week, but we got spandex swimsuit, swimsuit. This is usually black and gray shirts for running and then a running jacket, and then usually there's like a running shirt or two in there as well. And on the bottom we got my gi hats, and this is also where sweatshirts go. Uh, we're gonna save the desk for last. I feel like I'm talking way too fast, I'm sorry. And over here is my bed. <laughs> I don't have a bed frame, the mattress is just on the floor. This is where my head goes, and I don't actually make my bed A, because most of the time my cat is there, but B, because sometimes I sleep on the floor. So I'll put that blue blanket that, this is Chewy by the way, this is the big boy Chewy. I'll put the blue blanket on the floor as like a, like a mattress? Not really as a mat, as a mat. And then this is the blanket I use to just generally sleep. And there's another pillow hiding under there if I ever want to double up. Then we got this game station, I guess. I never really use it, but the idea is that I have this old monitor. It's hooked up to the PS4 and a Nintendo Switch dock. I can switch the HDMI thing back and forth. And I could play if I'm lying on my bed, but I have not touched my PS4 in ages. Plus the only thing I really play on it is Tomb Raider and Tetris. So we got PS4, controller, 3DS XL, a Switch dock back here, Midnight Purple DS. Camera case, I always put my camera back in here because you never know what my damage your camera. I forgot to mention the whiteboard. This is a, uh, if I ever have a thought during a TV show or I'm just doing something, I need to put it down quickly somewhere. I put it on the whiteboard because I know that's where I'm gonna look for things. Right now it just says, what's the next step? That's the mantra I'm living by right now. Anyway, back to here, open up the drawer. We've got CDs for games, a Nintendo DSi that has a broken bottom screen, a USB and 64 controller, some DS games. What you'd find in a miscellaneous game drawer, I guess. And then down here, we got some more miscellaneous tech. So this is a Gear VR headset I got a while back. This is my tech survival kit. It's got like ethernet cords and stuff in it. I have a blue snowball back here, my old microphone before my Rode Velcro. 
one of the best inventions ever. God, I use it all the time. More batteries. USB fan for my desk and a bunch of charging stuff back here. My graphing calculator is there as well. This is for the stuff I generally don't use frequently. Like I don't need to go in and grab something and put it back and forth frequently. Only problem with my compartmentalization, and we'll get to two more things in a minute, is that it's all mentally cataloged. So let's hope I don't lose my memory. Next up is this uh, lap desk that I'm supposed to put my laptop on, but I have my running clothes. So when I wake up in the morning, I have what's the next step, and then I have my daily clothes, and it says it's just a choice, because I'm trying to run every morning. I made it four days in a row before I decided not to run in seven degree weather. Uh, but yeah, so both clothes go out there the night before, going on a run after I record this. All right, and then we have the, I guess, a next little nook here between the, the gamer desk and the box I'll get to in a second. This is my hamper. It's Sunday, so it's laundry day. Everything's in the wash right now. This is my backpack, which I haven't been able to use yet because online university. Taking a look inside though, we've got a mechanical keyboard that I can take back and forth. My travel tech survival kit. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> pack of Uno cards, a pack of playing cards. You never know when you might need them. One day during Thanksgiving, me and like four random people, plus a friend of mine that also goes to NYU, were just on the side of a sidewalk playing Go Fish while we were waiting for the bus home. We, I also got some arrows and my bow down there. I haven't been able to do archery recently because of a shoulder injury. While I'm on the note of shoulder injury, resistance bands, and then one of those posture things you probably see ads for everywhere that I need to use when I'm sitting down sometimes because I forget to bring my shoulders back. And coming over to the big brown box, I have a bunch of old miscellaneous stuff down here that I really never use often, like the box to my microphone, paper cups, and then 10 LaCroix cans for a LaCroix video. I am keep trying to make, but these are all different, or at least they're not 10 you anyway. Paper cup's not important. I got some books back here, which I tend to reference. An old PHP MySQL book that I used when I first got into web development, a book of logic problems. Biology textbook, which I used to self-study for AP Bio that I can't get rid of because it's good memories. Creating a Champion, which is a book on the game design and art behind Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. An art book on Moana, the creation of Moana, and then a book on Pixar storyboards. And then next to it, we have a laptop thing that should go on my desk, but there's a clipboard under it and the index cards and some spare pencil and pens for when I want to sketch. I gotta take a breath. I don't know why I'm going so fast or so quick. We'll get to this in just a moment. But one thing I do want to say is that it's really important for me at least to reorder things in some way before the semester starts because I found that simulating a move in, so to speak, even if it's just moving my desk from that corner to this corner was super, super helpful. Anyway, this is my cork board. So if we consider that my thought bubble brain, this is my semi permanent brain. And then that's the second half. So this is where I put stuff that I constantly reference it needs to be printed or that I might reference again in the future. Um, so this here I can actually get rid of because I already mentioned that in my devlog. Cooking instructions, something for a game I'm playing, some stretches I need to do after I run, just stuff that I can look at and remind me that the world is sane a little bit. Oh, and it's surrounded by some cool art. So the Zelda art that you might see comes from a calendar from 2019, I believe, and then some of it's Tomb Raider art from the game thing. And then the map of Pokemon when I got Let's Go Eevee early. Anyway, on the left window we got some batteries, just in case I need quick access to some AA batteries. We got Curbs, uh, Kirby plush that I got ages ago. We got the desk, which I'll get to last. And then we have the corkboard number two. This was used to be above my desk, which was kind of nice. Switching to my left arm and getting the natural light from the window here. This is also where permanent stuff goes up, but it's more of like write it down and quickly pin it up. Whereas that other board is more permanent. Exercise schedules that are kind of cool from Derby. I would definitely look into there if you want to do some at-home stuff. Fighter stretching, because I do boxing and martial arts, but my shoulder is kind of putting me out of that consistently. Meal plan that I'm really trying to follow. Reminder for art. Th again, things I like to look at. I, yes, I have an IPA chart and just some ideas that I need to remind myself of that are too permanent to stay on the whiteboard. I plan to go in a circle for this, but this isn't really working, but we're coming back to the multimedia shelf. This is a foam roller I use for my PT exercises, a wooden sword I used to use for sword practice, but now I use it for PT exercises. And if I ever have a wide space where I can lift a sword above my head again, I will be using it again. So coming down, we have the tripod, which I use for my videos with a fan. The fan stand broke when I first got it in the mail and I never really bothered to return it or fix it. It's been over like two years now anyway, but I lean it against my tripod in case I ever want to put it next to my bed because it works. I sleep on the floor. It's fine. We got the outlet for just about everything and we got some more compartmentalization. So this is the stuff that I need rapid access to. We got Carlos, always need access to Carlos 100%. Currently active working sketchbook, currently active working notebook, some gloves for, I guess they're MMA gloves, but I don't actually fight people, I just do bag work. Hand wrap, same thing. Xbox controller, archive drive, I call it Markive, still very proud of that name. Another PT thing, and I also hit myself with it because for karate conditioning, drone and remote helicopter stuff and drawing tablet. Then in other box, which kind of has yet to have a use, I just have two books, Naked Economics and Sapiens, which are the next ones I wanna finish. Uh, uh, it's gonna happen eventually. 
God, I feel like I have so much stuff. Anyway, uh, on the shelf here, we have alarm clock. This goes off at 7 a.m. every morning, working on getting that down to 6.30. Nice to have to walk all the way over and actually hit it. No phone alarm either, would recommend. Cool thing I found from Random Frank P, it's got a wireless charger on one side and a pen pencil holder on the other. This is like a short ruler I'll constantly use and some pencil and pens that I'm actively using because I have a thing where if I use a pen, I want to finish it, classic human psychology. Then we got my Switch. The Switch is in the dock and these are Zelda stickers on the dock, so it's kind of fun. The one I have over there is a portable dock it's just much smaller and then finally my favorite part my desk this is my desk it used to be in that corner over there but I moved things around and honestly it feels so much better plus I have nitro light if I'm ever filming anything assuming I do it early enough that it's in the day I have a chair I got from Staples which I do kind of feel like I need to get a new one but like at the same time this one works it's just not the best posture support and it creaks a lot my desk is a $20 collapsible table from Lowe's. It's a Costco table. I got it about a year and a bit ago, last January during winter break. Best decision ever. I didn't originally have a desk after I moved simply because I didn't think I was going to be home during university. Shocker. Surface Book 2. Technically, I got this when I entered college, but I spilt water on once, but I got it replaced for free because of warranty. So I've had this for about two years now. This is where the minimalist comes in. It's a little sketchy. I don't know if it's actually minimalist or just cheap <laughs> but over here i sawed off the bottom of an old bookshelf that we have in our attic to use as a desk stand so i got my external monitor here i have it hooked up into laptop here we've got a usb hub on the top port and my hard drive in the bottom so the top usb thing is then taped to the side of the stand we got mouse keyboard mic and then this switches between webcam and ssd i have it so i never really need the ssd for any of my classes then we got a little daredevil pump funko <laughs> Um, Funko Pop, there we go. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, fictional characters, so on my desk all the time. Hand cream, it's winter, my hands get dry as frick. We got a hard drive under here. Glasses case, I switch between my normal glasses and my orange glasses, although I don't really use my orange glasses too often. This is the Switch HDMI cable, I just take out the one connected to my laptop and plug in my Switch one, if I ever do that, I have them in ages. Chapstick, and then we got two coasters over here for my water bottle and any secondary beverage I might be having. I've had like three liters of water today, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but anyway. Rode microphone, NT-USB, love the thing. A little audio compression in Audition and it sounds great. I just finished up a reading for an internship I'm doing and that's what is on the clipboard right now. Steel Series Arcus 3 headset, wired. I very rarely use it, I'm not sure why I started using it today because I usually use just the normal Samsung earbuds on the they're on a on a blind hook. Okay. Mic cable coiled nice up there. We got a Bluetooth keyboard, as you'll see in many of my typing videos, and a highlighter, and the pen that I'm currently using. Uh, oh, and here are the orange glasses. And yeah, that is my room. That is how I've set myself up for the online semester. If you have any questions, let me know, but I think just doing some sort of mental change if you can't physically change spaces is hugely important when you're stepping into something. The biggest thing with online university is that you're at home, so make your home a little less like it was before. Move things around, physically transfer yourself because then you'll also mentally transfer yourself. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's one of the biggest things that has helped me adapt to online university. But now everything's night, it's put away, and I feel like I moved everything over after after the start of my classes. It feels much better mentally, and I would highly recommend you do the same. Make things clean, put them in organized spots. If you take away anything from this video, have a separate rest space and a separate workspace. I do everything on my laptop, but if I'm ever reading or on my Switch, I'm not here, I'm in my bed. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, much appreciated. If you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to do so. Some will be on the end card now, I guess. I do typing productivity. I've got some great videos coming out in February, another language one on how language apps alone cannot get you to fluency and how the promise of, you know, 10 minutes a day is pretty much a farce. But anyway, that being said, if you wanna be notified, don't forget to subscribe down below, drop a comment what you think, and I will see you in a few days next week, whatever it might be. Thanks for watching. Have have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.